Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to part five of Origami Yoda. Our next chapter is Origami Yoda versus the Vampire. This is written by Lance. Everybody was going to this movie called Parasite Within, Legend of Vampire, but my parents won't let me go see R-rated movies. But everybody was going. But if you say that to my parents, they make some kind of sarcastic remark about jumping off a bridge, which makes no sense. I asked Yoda what to do, and Dwight makes this croaky voice and says, Stink movie does. So then I said to Dwight, But I thought you were dying to see it. I am, Dwight said. It's going to be awesome. And then a second later, he switches to his Yoda voice and waves the paper Yoda and says, Down two thumbs are. Cheesy are the special effects. Money save you will. So I ended up not going. Not that I had any choice, but because my parents. On Monday, I asked everybody how it was, and they said it all stunk, and that the special effects were cheesy, and that they had wasted their money. Even Dwight. Harvey's comment. Big whoop. The logical explanation for this one is so simple. Dwight read a review of the movie online or something. Or maybe he just guessed that a movie with a stupid title like that would be a stupid movie. My comment. Man, I wish I had listened to Origami Yoda. That movie was so lame. Interesting. So Origami gave one piece of advice, but even Dwight didn't follow it. All right, that was a pretty short chapter, so we'll read another. Origami Yoda and the Nasty Eighth Grader by Marcy in the Eighth Grade. Origami Yoda is the dumbest thing of all time. He's a total fraud. If you think he's anything more than a piece of paper, you're an idiot. I know this because I believed in him and ended up looking like an idiot. It's my own fault for listening to a bunch of sixth graders. One of the kids on my bus is the dipwad who walks around with the Yoda on his finger. One day, all these sixth graders kept saying, Ask Origami Yoda anything. He knows everything. And they told me some stories about how Origami Yoda had predicted some stuff. Well, it sounds stupid now, but they all seemed to believe it, and I did have a question I wanted answered. See, I won my homeroom spelling bee, and I was about to compete in the school-wide spelling bee. And if you win that, you get to go to the county spelling bee, then the regionals, and if you win that, you get to go to Washington, D.C. for the National Spelling Bee, which will be on TV. And you can win prizes, too. Like this eighth grader last year made it to the regional spelling bee and won a $100 savings bond. I wanted to win, obviously, but studying these stupid little booklets of words you've never heard of is boring. And it's impossible to memorize words when everybody's talking about origami Yoda and asking him questions about stupid junk. So, I said... Origami Yoda, can you tell me what word I need to learn in order to win the spelling bee? Man, I feel like such a fool for talking to a finger puppet now that I know it's just a finger puppet. But remember, everybody told me it was magic. Yeah, right. The kid held Yoda up so I could see him, and he made this stupid voice and said, Tomorrow tell you I will. Rest now I must. Far into the future must I look. Then the kid put Origami Yoda away and wouldn't get him back out. Uh, thanks for nothing, fart face, I said. Now, will you people shut up so I can learn my words? What do you think about this character, Marcy? What sort of a person does she seem to be? Any guesses what Origami Yoda is going to tell her? Well, the next day, when I got on the bus, the kid immediately holds up Yoda and says, Mulked. What? Mulked. Learn to spell you must. Forget not the T. Okay, so how do you spell it? Look it up, said the twerp kid. Twerp. But I did look in the little booklet, and it was actually there. Only it wasn't spelled M-U-L-K-E-D. It was spelled M-U-L-C-T. That's exactly the kind of ripoff word that nobody's ever heard of that they would love to use in spelling bees. Well, seeing it in the booklet convinced me. I fell for it like a total sucker. I was sure that word would make me the school champ. I didn't bother with the booklet anymore. Finally, it was time for the spelling bee, which was held in the cafeteria with the whole school watching. All my friends and everybody in my homeroom was cheering for me. What do you think about her studying strategy? The thing about spelling bees is the first round is always a freebie. I had to spell brown. Nobody went out on the first round. Then I had words like without, frankly, and politics. Then in the fifth round, I got the word vestige. At least I thought it was vestige. It turned out to be vestige. The judge rang a little bell, and I had to sit down and watch the rest of the spelling bee like everybody else. I was furious. This little sixth grader won it by spelling muscular. That's right, muscular, not mulked. Nobody even got mulked. I was even more furious. 
After school, on the bus, I told the Yoda kid what an idiot he was, and I told everybody that origami Yoda was a worthless piece of paper. But, like I said, I'm the real idiot for believing in something that stupid anyway. Harvey's comment. Finally, I'm glad somebody else has seen through this nonsense. Although, frankly, I'm surprised an 8th grader would fall for it in the first place. By the way, I came in second in the school spelling bee and would have won if the judge had pronounced the words better. My comment. Actually, I don't think that Harvey gets the point of this story either. It's not just the fact that origami was Yoda was wrong. The question is, why was he wrong? I wonder if he was really wrong or whether this was a Jedi mind trick. Think about it. Dwight tells Marcy that Yoda will give her an answer the next day. Instead of saying thank you, she called him a fart face. Now, maybe Origami Yoda could have figured out the real winning word. We'll never know. But the question is, why would Dwight want to help a girl who had just called him a fart face? Maybe it was Dwight or maybe it was Yoda, but I think one of them purposely gave her the wrong word to make her lose. If she had looked up mulked in a dictionary like I just did, she might have figured it out. It has a couple of meanings. One is when you punish somebody. The other is when you trick them. I think Dwight and or Origami Yoda did both. All right, so the jury's still out on whether or not Origami Yoda is real. What do you think? See you next time for our next chapter, which is called Origami Yoda and the Cheeto Hog.